I've just got salt in my watercolour. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And I feel like I'm quite late to this trend. In fact, I know I'm very late to this trend. But I thought I would try some TikTok art life hacks. And the reason I haven't done like a TikTok life hack video or anything TikTok related is because I absolutely can't stand TikTok. TikTok for me is basically a turd app. And what I mean by that is it's fine for when you're on the loo and you want to pass the time while you're taking a shit and just scroll through some videos. But other than that, like... I don't know, it just, it, it doesn't float my board. I don't really get the big hype about it. And one thing that drives us absolutely insane is that every other app now seems to want to be like TikTok and TikTok wants to be like all the other apps and everyone just wants to be the same. I just wish YouTube would do YouTube, TikTok would do TikTok, Instagram would do Instagram, Snapchat would do Snapchat and you all just stay in your own lanes. Can we all agree upon that? Social media, all of yous, just stay where you are. Stop copying each other. Because otherwise, what's the point? What's the point of having all these different ones? If they're all the same, it's just a mess. I'm getting very agitated. I'm getting very angry. I didn't want to start this video like this, but it just pisses us off. It just winds us up. Like, I can't stand YouTube doing shorts now, which is just the equivalent of TikToks. And then there's reels. I, can't, I just can't keep up with it. Call me old. I don't care. I just can't keep up with all the shite that these social media platforms keep shoving down our throats. Can't do it. Can't do it. But hopefully these little art hacks will calm us down a bit. I don't know where, why I got so agitated for. I must have woke up on the wrong side of bed today. To be fair, I never wake up on the right side of bed. <laughs> it's literally no different to any other day. Okay, so let's test out our first TikTok art life hack. And by the way, some of these videos, I will be muting the audio because again on TikTok they use a crap ton of copyrighted material. So this artist's explaining that in this little lunchbox that they've bought, there's two compartments, one for water, one for paint, and apparently that stops the paint from drying out. They don't actually test it, they don't like show you the paint or anything, but I'm going to, I'll see if it works. So I wanted to give this a really good test. So a few days ago, I got this little lunchbox that has different compartments in. I filled one side up with some acrylic paint and I filled one side up with some water and sealed it and put it to one side. And I've got it here. And if I'm honest with you, I think this paint is still pretty wet. I think it's very wet in fact, let's have a look. Bloody hell, that's worked really well. I don't know whether you're gonna see this up close. Like, there's not even like a skin or anything. It is so, it's it's basically like it's been fresh out the tube. And I suppose this hack is good as well if you're a painter on the go, because you've got a little bit of water for your paint. So you could easily just dip it in, mix a little bit up. And then you've also got like a little palette on the go. And then yeah, just get painting. I think that's a really good idea. I don't necessarily paint out and about or paint on the go or anything. But if you are an artist or a creative person who does that fantastic little life hack couldn't recommend it enough okay so for this next art hack i want us to watch this together because i can't tell whether this person is being sarcastic or not and i don't want to take the piss out of them if they are being sarcastic and i'm just not getting the joke but if this is very sincere well, well we'll just watch it before i say anything we'll just watch it and then you'll know what i'm thinking anyway but let's let's have a look i think i'm a genius so i feel like everyone has this art with these body forms and it's just not a vibe. Like that trend is out. And so I want to swap out the art in my bathroom. So I was like, what can I put in here that's a little funkier and cooler? So I have all these coffee table books. So I decided to swipe through this Gucci. And I cut out two pieces that I like. This is one of the items. And then this is the one that's going to go in the other. And now I'm just cutting them and fitting them into the frames. And I have new art. I feel like that's so smart because I don't like open my coffee books anyway. So, so yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know if this person is being sarcastic or not. I can't tell whether they're being super serious and they think that this is a brand new thing that no one's ever done before, no one's ever thought of before. And it's like an amazing idea to replace a picture in a frame with something else. And like, fair enough, because it's out of a magazine. Maybe that's why they think, ooh, oh, this is different. But I, f I feel like they're being sarcastic. I think they're trolling people, they have to be. But the whole like Gucci, that they've got like a Gucci book on their coffee table already. I don't know. I can't tell the accent throws us off as well because they might be sincere. I really hope they're not. But anyway, I've got a framed generic piece of art. Unfortunately, I don't have any Gucci. <laughs> 
because I'm not a twat. And Tesco didn't sell any Gucci magazines. So I bought Your Handmade Christmas. And I thought I would find a nice picture in here to replace this little splatter tree. To be fair, I think that looks fine as it is, but it is very generic. It's kind of like hotel art. But like, I just, uh, they must be joking. It must be like taking the piss. They have to be, you can't be serious. And I suppose this is considered a hack, but it's just like, it's a hack that everyone already knows about. Right, let's have a look through my little Christmas magazine. See what I want to frame. I tried to buy like a super like fashionable magazine, but there's not many magazines now, like out there. When I went to the shops, it was very bare. I suppose not many people buy magazines anymore. I'll keep this though, because there's some inspiration in here. This might come in handy for next Christmas. I've already got Christmas videos planned, so I don't need any, but I'll have a little whiz through this at some point. I think we might go for this little crochet gingerbread. Oops. Okay, so pop our little picture in here. And there we go, we've got a nice little framed gingerbread man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! I don't know whether I'd necessarily call this an art hack. I would call this more of like a home decor hack. But yeah, yeah, it's... it's it is what it is. I don't think anyone's mind is going to be blown by this. I think this is a very normal thing to do. Again, I don't know whether that person's taking the piss. This could be like TikTok humour that I'm... Well, that I just don't find very funny. So you'll have to let us know with that one if it's a piss take or not. But it works and it worked absolutely fine. Okay, let's try another TikTok art hack. So this person is saying if you sprinkle salt on watercolour, you get a snowflake effect. And I don't know whether their salt is regular table salt or whether it's like fancy salt. But it looks really interesting and I think it's a really nice effect. So I've got some salt and we'll give this a bash. What colour shall I use? I'll go for a blue since it's snowflakes. I've never heard of anyone putting salt on watercolour paint. This was the first time I'd seen it, so let's see what happens. And then sprinkle some salt over. I don't think mine looks like this. No, for some reason that hasn't done, it hasn't done anything for me. It's just, I've just got salt in my watercolor. Like that doesn't look very snowflakey, does it? I don't know, maybe it's something to do with these paints. Maybe these paints aren't affected by salt or they have like a special salt. No, I would give that one a skip. It hasn't worked for me. Okay, so it's time for a bit of color theory with this one. So let's have a look. Artist life hack. If you mix together burnt umber and ultramarine blue, you get a richer, more natural looking black. Okay, I feel like this one might work. I I remember when I was in college, my tutor, for some reason, would never ever ever let us use black out of the tube. We weren't allowed to. We had to mix a black. And in order to mix a black, if I remember rightly, I can't remember what colors she told us to use. It, it might have been this, but she was, she hated black out of the tube. You were not allowed to use it. She would take all the black away from you. If she saw you using black from a tube, there'd just be hell on. There'd be absolute hell on. She wasn't having any of it. Now this person was obviously using oil paint and that's obviously a different kind of paint. But I'm just wondering if it'll work for acrylic. It should do. So I'm gonna mix some burnt umber with a bit of ultramarine blue and we'll see if this gives a black. All right, let's have a little go of that. Mm, it's still brown, I need more blue. Okay, I would say if you're doing this, you want more blue than brown. And yeah, it gives a kind of like a blackish, grayish color. I don't know, it's not as black as regular black, but like this person said, it's a more natural kind of black. Whereas I understand what my tutor was saying about not using black straight out of the tube. Well, it's not a very natural looking color. It's kind of very harsh, but it also just depends on what kind of painting you're doing. If you're doing a very abstract kind of painting, then black out of the tube would be absolutely fine. But if you're doing more of a figurative, realistic, stylized kind of painting, you might prefer a more natural blended black. So I don't know whether you're going to be able to see much there, but that's where it was a little bit too brown for my liking. I added a bit more blue to that one, which has kind of given it a grayish black color. And then that's just black straight out of the tube. And you can see the difference. You can definitely see the difference. It all depends on what you want and what your goal is, what your painting is, but definitely works 100%. Brought me back to my college days when there were lots of rules and we weren't allowed to do what we wanted to do because, well, because the tube it was just very old fashioned and strict. Come here now! Get out! But my advice for anyone who's wanting to do painting. Do whatever you want. Whatever suits you and whatever you like doing, you do you. That's the best thing you can do. I said a lot of do's in that sentence, I've just realized. Could have could have worded that differently, but you know, I didn't.
Okay, so it's time for a little drawing life hack. I think they're doing it on digital art, but I'm gonna try it on physical art. But they're basically saying doing a face on a cylinder is better than doing it on a cube for some reason. I don't know why. I think you also have to be very good at drawing, and I'm not. But I'm gonna see if this helps. I'm gonna just pause that. Yeah, so cylinders, apparently you can use the contour of the cylinder to help you draw a face. But to be fair, in their TikTok, their face in the cylinder and their face in the square, they both look really good. All right, so I'll just skip myself out a cylinder. I'm just gonna try and copy their exact drawing. And then they do two lines there. Even my cylinder looks terrible. I've made that bit too... too thick. Oh, whatever. So if you draw like a nose there, a nice eyebrow here, and then an eye here. Mine doesn't look like a face at all. I don't know what mine looks like. I don't know why my drawing style is like so bad. It's really, really bad. I suppose it looks more like a face than my other faces. Yeah, I suppose this kind of helps actually. It helps a lot. Mine looks awful. Mine looks so terrible. But I suppose, yeah, you could like, mm, that could be like hair. But well, there's my version. Just shut up. Don't laugh at us. Just shut up. I, I can understand what they mean. It does help. My drawing's just absolutely awful. I don't know why I can't draw for. That's because I don't practice. People practice. Yeah, I think that's a good way of drawing a face. Practice makes perfect. Don't. Don't you dare laugh at my drawing. I don't even know what it looks like. It kind of looks like a face, but it also just doesn't look like anything. No, I like that one. I would, I would recommend it. If you're a good drawer, then even better. Okay, so moving on to another art life hack. So this person is saying that the water-soluble Crayola pens are really good for, like, water colour paintings and drawings and stuff. So they're doing this really lovely drawing and lovely painting and you can use them like a watercolour paint or like a watercolour marker. And I think that's a clever idea. I don't think I ever thought of doing that and I do have plenty of these Crayola watercolour things. Oh, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Okay, let's give it a bash. I'm not going to draw anything, I'm just going to test this out on its own. So I've got some washable Crayola markers. Another thing as well about TikTok, it's just reminded us there. Obviously none of the TikToks that I'm using today do this, but I've noticed as I've been scrolling through TikTok, you'll have like a video where there's someone reacting to an actual video and they'll just be kind of like like I think they call it stitching and they'll just stitch it where they literally just sat there playing with the fingernails drinking a can of coke and not actually contributing anything to the video and it drives us absolutely insane if you did that on YouTube you would get a copyright claim for it or you'd get like a copyright strike or something I don't know how it works but yeah that's not it's not contributing anything to the video it's you just sat there doing nothing while another video plays over. And another thing that bothers us with TikTok, there's lots of things that bother me with TikTok, but they'll start a video and music will start playing and it'll stop after like the 10 second mark and the video will be like 40 seconds and the other 30 seconds of the video is just still. There's nothing. There's no background music. There's no original audio. There's just 10 seconds of music and then nothing. It drives me mad. I don't know why they do it for. The only redeemable qualities of TikTok, I'll say this straight away, are pimple popping videos yours. And there are some amazing, there's so many, seriously, like, my little page is covered in them. My algorithm on my For You page or whatever, with dog videos and cat videos. There are so many, like, super cute ones. They're the only videos I like. Cute dog videos and pimple popping videos. Other than that, I find, like, a lot of the content on TikTok, it just recycled. It all feels very samey and... Just low effort. That's what I feel anyway. People can attack me in the comments if you want. I'm really not asked. But that's my opinion on TikTok. I'm not going to talk about too much because I'll end up getting like really wound up about it. Right, let's try this. So I've got some little washable markers. And it did say in the original TikTok to use watercolour paper. And I've got watercolour paper. So this should work fine. And then we should be able to just blend it all out. That works really well. That's actually surprisingly really nice. And obviously if you've bought Crayola pens before, they're not like mega expensive, are they? So it's quite an affordable little painting hack. Oh, they blend out really nice. One of my favorite mediums when I was in school was actually watercolor pencils. And it's given me them kind of vibes. I seriously, I used to be so obsessed with watercolor pencils. Absolutely amazing material to work with. It was watercolor pencils and pastels. And I used to do all my artwork in that medium. And I'm talking about massive pieces as well. I don't have any of my original artwork artwork though so it's a shame but yeah that works really well i would 100 percent recommend that not bad at all very very pleased with this one so moving on to the final tiktok art life hack and it looks like we're going to be doing something with crayons so this person is saying that they've been using crayons wrong all their life by lightly pressing on it and it creates that kind of like you know weird texture and this person says you're supposed to press on really really hard and then scrape it off 
with a scraper. And honestly, that looks really good. Because I always think crayons, the texture of them, once you're finished, looks really shitty. Like, really, really shitty. So, I've got myself a little colouring book. Because I wasn't going to draw my own picture, because I'm not very good at drawing. And we'll have a bash at this. Who do I want to ruin? I'll ruin you. Okay, so press down really, really hard. I'll give her a blue face. Why not? Oh, bollocks. It even said in the TikTok not to break your crayon, and I'm already breaking it. To be fair, just pressing down on the crayon harder works a lot better, even without scraping it off. I don't know why we use them so lightly, crayons. Why don't we, like, proper go in for it? Okay, and then I think this person used another colour too, and then kind of blended them. I'm just doing a little tester, by the way. I'm not doing some proper colouring in. And I'm not sure what we're scraping off, but they just take the knife. Okay, that's made the crayon like mega, mega shiny. Look how shiny that is. It didn't look like that until I scraped it and then it got that proper shine. Look at that, you can see the light bouncing off it. I don't think that's normal with crayon. I think that's pretty cool, isn't it? That worked really well. I'm actually quite shocked. Because crayons, I've always found them to just be like a bit of a naff art material. But I think you could create some really nice stuff with that. That's a good little, good little tip. Thank you very much. I like that. So that just about does it for testing out some TikTok art life hacks. And to be fair, they weren't too bad. Actually, a lot of them were pretty decent. Whenever I think of life hacks, I always almost instantly go to five minute crafts and their life hacks. And their life hacks aren't life hacks. It looks stupid. Whereas these ones, I think it's been a good combination of proper life hacks and genuine decent tips for artists and crafters and creative people. Obviously the Gucci person who did the frame thing don't know what that was about. I just kind of wanted to take the mic. I feel sorry though if that person was being like super genuine because like I'm just proper ripping into her. Well, I haven't. I haven't really ripped into her. I could. I'm not going to though because they might just be living living their best life and they've done something really amazing and I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to crush their dreams. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are wanting to know, I am actually on TikTok, but all you'll see is clips of my main videos posted on there. I don't post actual TikToks because it's just, it's not my style, it's not my thing. And I can't be asked. I just can't be bothered with it. I really can't. But I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video. And we'll actually be starting some Christmas content on Friday as well. So that'll either be very, very fun for people who like Christmas, or it'll be absolutely awful for the people who don't. But I can't please everyone. 